After Thrag killed Battle Beast, he went to his home planet to conquer it. He was greeted by their people kneeling. Thrag said this was unexpected. That's when Moth, the member of the coalition who is the ambassador for Battle Beast's people, asked King Wok if he lost his mind. He said this man seeks to enslave us and undo all that Battle Beast has accomplished for our great people. This is madness. King Wok said Ambassador Mock, it is you who've lost your mind. End him. Suddenly a soldier stabbed him in the heart from behind. That's when Thrag said to his daughter Yersol, this is far easier than I imagined. Establish a base, assign officers to maintain it. And let's return to Central Command. Yersol said yes, father. After Thrag left, Battle Beast's daughter killed the king and the guard who killed Ambassador Mock and every member of the royal guard. That's when one of the guards said the rebels surrendered. The kingdom secured but you. You couldn't stop. It must be true. Your father's curse, it flows through your veins now that he's not alive to contain it. She said, I'm sorry for what I've done here. I lost control. The rage within cannot be contained. I too must now seek out worthy opponents until I meet my end. That's when the warrior said they say it was a Viltrumite who was finally able to best your beloved father in battle. She replied, Viltrumite, then I know who has brought this curse upon me. It is decided I will not rest until every Viltrumite in the universe is dead or I am. She took part in the coalition's battle against the Viltrumites. She was fighting on the coalition's side. That was the last time we saw her. So if you've ever wondered why Battle Beast was so obsessed with battle, he was cursed. He was compelled to fight until he met his end. It was his only desire to die in battle. Every battle he entered, he entered it with the hopes of his opponent killing him, and when he died, he died saying thank you.